<laughs> where we have um, another segment. And we don't have any sponsors, but it'd be cool if we have a segment presented by your favorite candy bar or something like that. <laughs> but this segment is um, doesn't have a name yet, but <laughs> we want you to put your top four personal inspiration, pers- personal inspirational people Ah. On your Mount Rushmore. Who okay. is your Mount Rushmore of people of that inspiration? Ins- of people who inspire me? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you should get a, a candy bar to, to sponsor. Maybe, maybe that wouldn't be the appropriate mounds. sponsor. Maybe, maybe Mounds. Like, maybe like a, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you I don't go. know. Oh. Yeah, you can, okay. I'm surprised you don't yeah. have some influencer like Stanley Cups or something here. Oh, you know, yeah, like, no, we have you know, Legos we... on a shelf over here <laughs> that did not make the, the cut. <laughs> we're working on it. Yeah, we're, you're working, we're working on it. On this is only season two. <laughs> yes. It's only out That's from true. here. That's true. <laughs> I got you. We're getting there. Uh, so, okay. Um, presidential, you know, so I grew up in Abilene, which is home of President yeah, Eisenhower. You yeah, you know where Abilene's at. Um, so presidential history has always been something my wife and I like. So, uh, my favorite president would be on there and that's Truman, uh, Harry S. Truman. Um, and it's funny cause I kind of, kind of identify, although, you know, dropping atomic bombs on Japan is not like closing yeah. schools, but, um, crisis it, it's it dealing, big, making yeah. hard decisions, right? To some people, they, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it has been traumatic. I mean, to, to say the least, but, but in the face of like, really hard decisions having the steadfastness steadfastness to to go forward with it and be bold and be brave and um to do what you think is right ultimately so um so yeah truman would be one um i'm a big nelson mandela fan i mean i feel like um there's so much just the way he lived his life and um you know kind of who he was as a person uh, a lot of inspiration there um you know kind of locally i know this sounds kind of cliche but my my wife, if she ever listens to this, she would be super embarrassed that I said her name. But um, she's a she's a force of nature. She uh, is like one of those people that can kind of get anything done. And you know, you tell her she can't do it, she'll be like, "Yeah, watch me." Yeah. Um, and I find that inspirational, right? Like to to see somebody that's like super determined and you know gonna make uh, make it happen no matter what. Um, so even though she wouldn't like me saying that, she would definitely it's be a on fantastic that. answer. It's a great <laughs> answer. Best answer. Yeah. Well, there you go. Best All right. Answer. We'll Thanks. see what the other guests say. Oh, that's probably yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see, yeah. Don't give don't give him my answer. <laughs> um, you know, and I was trying to think of someone. Um, you know, there, there's a couple of people kind of in my educational life uh, that have brought me a lot of inspiration. Um, one of my early early mentors was a guy named Dr. Fred Saab. He lived up in Newton, and he's passed away uh, since then. But he was a uh, he w- he was retired from kind of the public school system, and he was my mentor when I was uh, a principal at uh, St. Patrick's in Kingman, which was a Catholic school. So he was working for the diocese. Um, you know, I was I was 26 years old when I got that principal job. I don't know how. Like I don't know who would hire someone who's 26 to be a principal of a school. But anyway, um, and so he was like my kind of my first mentor, and was very very dry, very sarcastic, very to the point. Um, he was a polio survivor. Um, so he had really persevered in life and had a ton of wisdom and would just, uh, you know, he would tell me straight, but he would also like make me better at the same time, you know, like encouragement and, uh, being honest and being straightforward. So, um, yeah, I know that's, if, if that was a Mount Rushmore, that would be a pretty diverse group of uh, yeah. people on there. But yeah, um, like but yeah. so like off it. the top of my head, there you go. I like that's that. My, we'll like get the that. editors to, to put like, like something <laughs> in the yeah, yeah, we'll get those maybe pictures. We, I'm not putting that shots. pressure on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun, though. Maybe that we, would maybe we could 3D print it at the Future Ready Ooh, Center. Maybe that would be... I like that. That would be cool. There we go. Bonus content. Just always thinking. Yes. Ideas. Yes. Ideas. You never this turn that brain on. The man, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. Although my wife really probably wouldn't like her picture 3D printed <laughs> either. I don't, I don't know if she'd love that either. Just hold still while we take a scan <laughs> of your face here. No reason. It's not for any reason. Yeah, don't, just ignore it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That, would, that would be a, a sight. We'll, we'll work yeah. on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah there you go. Make yeah. that happen. So, we can, yeah. Yeah. See what we can do. Yeah. yeah. Well, good segue.